Hey gang. Hey, this week we are going to do three, count them three, uh, beginner blues rock licks. Actually, they're just great licks, uh, beginner or not, and there's some subtleties to them. So anyway, that you must know, eh, you know what, truth be told, you can get away without knowing them. But knowing them is going to make your life a lot richer. <laughs> How about that? Okay, anyway, without further ado, let's get to the licks. Here's number one. Uh, hey, before we do anything, I just want to let you know you can get the tab from the link in the description below. It might make your life a little bit easier. Okay, lick one is a classic. It goes like this. One more time. All right, so basically lick one is kind of like a Chuck Berry lick. But it's just laid back a little bit, okay? It's just kind of like taking it a little bit cool and uh, laying back a little bit. So what we're doing there is we're starting out, this is all played in the blues box position in C, so on the eighth fret you see, right, that, that pattern. And we're going to start on the tenth fret third string, bend that up a whole step. Okay, and then we're going to toggle on the first and second strings, like so. Now, what I'm not doing is totally letting those bleed together like this. I'm just kind of rolling my left hand a little bit and, and deadening that. Okay, finally we're playing the 11th and then bending it up a whole, a whole step and then giving it some vibrato. All right, some nice sustain there. All right, let's play it in context. We're going to start on the three of the previous bar. Here we go. Now, if you noticed, I was sort of laying back on that. You want to get it just a little bit behind the beat. It sounds, uh, I don't know what it is exactly, but I'm just kind of laying back on that one, and it makes it sound a little bit uh, bluesier or something like that. Anyway, that is lick one. And now, here's number two. Lick two sounds like this. One more time. All right, this is a, another classic. This is more like a, um, when I hear this one, I think of ZZ Top, actually, especially the, or uh, ACDC as well. This sounds like Have a Drink on Me. Right? Kind of sounds like that. All right, so what's going on there? Well, we're getting a little bit out of that standard blues box position, so we're just taking a little bit of a venture. We're take, starting out on the 10th, sliding up, to the 12th and then hitting the 11th on the second string. Now we're going to let those ring out and give them a little bit of, a bit of vibrato, okay? So like so. And you want that to be a nice, kind of a, not a super fast slide, but a, a kind of a fast slide. Okay? All right, here's the second part. Okay, so we're going to do that again, but this time we're going to do it fast. Okay, so that part is the same, sliding up 10 to 12, playing the 11th, and then we're coming back very quickly. That's 12 to a 10 slide on the 3rd. When we play the 8th, we want to pull that up just a little bit, maybe an 8th, somewhere between an 8th and a quarter of a bend, okay? So just a little bit. Now if you just play it without giving it any bend at all, it'll sound okay, but putting just a tiny amount of bend, it's interesting. It can really make it, give, just give you a little bit of a different sound, which is cool. Okay, and then finally we're going to play on the fourth string, 10, 8, 10. And then at the very end, we're just going to pull that 10 off to the 8th and cut it off. Okay? Like so. 
Okay, here's the whole thing kind of slowly. One more time. All right, let's play it in context on three of the previous chords. One, two, three. All right, so that's the second one. And now here is number three. All right, here's the last one for today. Okay, another cool one. Lots of bends on this one, okay? Big bends. Now, we're playing in the position above the regular blues box, so right here up at the 13th fret. We're going to bend that, and we're playing it primarily on the first two strings. We're going to play that 13th, bend it up a whole step twice, and pull it, uh, bring it down to the 13th and pull it off to the 11th, like so. Okay, and then we're going to play... That's 13, pull off to the 11th and play the 13th, and then give the 13th on the second lots of vibrato. Now, if you want to hit it twice, that sounds good. I don't know why, I always seem to hit it twice. There, I just hit it once. <laughs> okay, now, we're just going to play then the next logical step, which is pull off from the 13th to the 11th on the second string. Play the 12th on the third and then right back up to the 13th, quickly. That takes a little bit of practice, so just practice that you can get it really quickly. Now we're gonna give that 13 a little vibrato and then play the 11th. Drag it up about a quarter step and then cut it off completely, like so. Here I cut it off, I'm using my right hand. All right. All right, now that you know all the licks, let's put them in context. We are going to play uh, over a backing track. The backing track is just C minor and F. So here we go. Here are the three licks. Here's the first one. go three uh, blues rock licks that you can use in lots of places you know Pink Floyd or any of that classic rock stuff um, they're really helpful and you, you know you can branch off into other types of licks you can add to them yourself add your own notes to them or make them all your own all right anyway I hope you enjoyed this one gang we'll see you next time we'll see you on down the road <laughs>